What's going on, everybody? It's Wade with Swamp Donkey Archery. So every year I do kind of a gear dump just to let y'all know the uh, equipment I'm going to be using for the hunting season. So that's what this video is going to be. Not going to be too terribly long. I'm going to run through all my new stuff, tell you some of my older stuff that I'm using, and uh, just to give you all a little bit of information on what it is and why it is I use it. Stick around. All right, how are you fine folks doing? So the 2024-25 hunting season is right around the corner. And like I mentioned in the intro, I always do a gear dump on you know most of the equipment that I'm going to be using for the year and why. So first thing I want to get into is my bow of choice and all the accessories to go on it. So I'm going to be shooting the Athens Axis 35. And yeah, I know those of you that know Athens is out of business. Why am I still using it? Because this is an awesome bow. That's why. So I'm sticking with the 35 this year. Um, I feel more comfortable with a longer axle axle bow. I like where the string angle fits me and everything. Uh, it's just my preference. I, I used to like a 32, 33 inch. And once I started shooting a longer axle to axle, man, I just, I really like this 35 inch axle to axle. So the bow is, like I said, the Axis 35. We're in the green beret um, riser color with the conifer limbs. Uh, this is 70 pounds, set on 29 inches. Uh, my era is right at 500 grains, running kind of heavy this year. It's uh, 496 grains, and we're shooting uh, 275, mid 275 feet per second. So that's the bow. I'm running a 10 inch V Singer micro hex up front, 8 inch V Singer micro hex off the back, got two ounces on the front, uh, four ounces off the back. Um, the rest I'm using, tried and true, I've used these uh, Hamsky Hybrid Hunter Pro rests for several years. Love them. It's a limb driven rest. I have my own particular reasons why I run a limb driven rather than a cable driven rest. The sight's the same sight I used last year. The B3 Rise. Uh, this is a two pin slider. I have this one set up on two pins and it works as a slider. So when my, I have my slider adjusted, my top pin is 20 yards, my second pin is 30, and my top pin, top pin acts as a floater. So, you know, if it's 40 yards, I roll it down to my indicators on 40 and I use my top pin. So I like using the top pin as a floater rather than the bottom. So that's my sight using the uh this um mountain view it's the ultra uh one piece single piece removable quiver really good quiver you can see how tight this thing actually sits to the bow i backed it off a little bit while ago but you can get this thing super tight and it's, this isn't only for the athens you can get these quivers to fit any any of the major brands out there really good solid quiver to use um that's why I got it on here. Uh, does have the little, the little uh, loop here on the front, so you can tie on to here rather than tying onto your limb or your cam. To pull your uh, pull your bow up. I'm running the Hamsky Raptor peep in a three sixteenths hole. I do have my uh, nose button on here. I do like running a nose button. Helps with anchor and reference points. Uh, I think that's it on the bow. Yeah, does have my uh, my custom strings on there, donkey threads in the uh, Bloodline uh, 99 material. In case y'all don't know about Bloodline, it is a waxless fiber, stronger, lighter, uh, faster, water repellent. Really good, really good fiber. So the eras I'm going to be using are the RIP TKOs. I have most of them are in the elites. I do have a couple of gamers in here, but mainly I'm going to be hunting with the elites, the yellow label. Um, I decided to go with a four fletch this year, a four fletch with a uh, with a wrap. This is the tack driver and two and three quarter inch veins. I really like this four fletch setup with the uh, tack veins, just solid. Uh, these tack veins are a harder material. They are so freaking quiet. 
Um, I run them against several others this year. Uh, in the past, I've done a uh, which brought which uh, vein to, to use, which was the quietest and whatnot. I didn't do these that year because I didn't have the right sequence of operation to get these veins to glue on. So really liking these veins now, and I figured them out. On the other end of the arrow, we are using this Magnus uh, Black Hornet. Uh, this is the four blade. It's the two primary blades with the two bleeder blades on it. As I mentioned, this is 496 grain arrow. So we're kind of heavy. Uh, FOC on this, I've done it the other day. It's about 18, 18, 19 percent FOC. Pretty solid arrow. Uh, let's see. I will have some lighted knocks on my primary hunting arrows. I just don't have them on here. That's the nocturnals. I'll do like the nocturnals they've been a really uh really good lighted knock uh i do have a new uh bino harness this year i got the uh marsupial gear in the fully enclosed harness um the other one that i had was the original marsupial gear it was not it did not have the sides right here loved it nothing wrong with it I actually put many hours behind it and uh, handed it down to my boy and now he's using it so i got this new the new one, it does have the wider padded straps. We got the rangefinder on this side, your little uh, extra little pouch right here. My rangefinder will be using the same one I did last year. It's a Nikon Aculon, nothing too fancy, but it does work very well. So that's my new, new marsupial gear uh, bino harness. Uh, my release that I'm going to be using, I'm going to use my... Uh, my thumb release this year we're going to use the uh, scott sigma uh really solid release i do like having the thumb release to where when you get set up in the stand you can go ahead and hang your release on that way when you grab your bow you grab your release and you're ready to rock you're not sitting there looking at that deer walk in trying to look down and hook your release on the string so that's the release i'm going with this year um I do have a, uh, a saddle set up. I'll post a link in the video right here to the saddle setup that I'm using. No need for me to go through it because nothing has changed since last year. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. That's primarily what I'm going to be using. I'll, man, I'm going to hunt out of cleanups. I'm going to hunt out of lock-ons. I'm going to hunt out of saddles. So uh, I'm not stuck to just one thing. It's just all these different stands are just different tools in my toolbox okay i'm not just locked down on one thing i'll hunt over hunt out of whatever so yes that's it um went through the bow went through the airs marsupial gear yeah that's it if y'all got any questions about uh any of this why i'm using it or whatever give me them comments down there if you see any, any of this that you want let me know i can uh, order it and send it to you and get you hooked up so other than that like i said let me know if you got any questions be sure and like this uh, video, so if my channel hadn't already done it, don't forget about the uh, 2,500 sub era giveaway. We just broke 2,000 subs yesterday, so we need just under 500 more people to sub this channel, and we will be giving a free dozen eras to some lucky viewer out there. So other than that, look me up on my website, swampdonkeyarchery.com. It's got all my contact info there, and happy hunting, guys. I will see y'all a little bit later.